Um, and it took me a year. It wasn't until I think 2019 that the podcast got commissioned. So it grew as, started as one film, then became two films, then became a 10 part podcast series and two films. And now it's that plus like a 10,000 word essay that I'm doing at the moment where I'm just sort of like, "Ah, need a break. (laughs) Just getting Um, it all out. Haven't slept in four years. Man. It's it just shows though, and I think it shows to anyone listening who's got aspirations to make something. It shows how hard it is because I was listening a lot of the time, and I and I think I think every documentary maker will relate to this. It's like it's it's impossible to get a commission. It's just the most impossible thing ever in the world to get commissions, unless mm. you are a huge huge name, and even they struggle. So I listened to the whole podcast series, which I loved. I watched Return to ISIS as well, and I was watching it thinking, ah, this this is what you need to get a commission fairly simply you need a, you need a story this good and as you're telling me even that was not simple no i mean you're completely right i mean it's such a competitive and hard industry um that even i mean the amount of times uh, you know this story and this podcast i was told you know it's not going to work we've got to cancel it or you know i don't think it's, it's what you think it is or this is never going to happen i mean like like i said a year to get the podcast commissioned when i always knew that it would be a fantastic podcast series um, I, I kind of, to some degree, the more I looked into it, realised that it would be easier to tell this as a podcast in audio than it was ever going to be to tell it in film. Because, you know, as you well know, film, you have a time limit, right? You've got, you know, in the UK sense, we've got like 58, 30. In the yeah. front line, I think we've got like 51, 15. It's some odd time. So how do you tell four years of uh, a really complex story where you don't know if somebody's telling the truth or not and you don't know and there's so much you have to explore within it um in 58 minutes so yeah we did it and the film is good and it, it, it's true and it's not like it's um a different story to the podcast but what the podcast allows us to do is get into all of these mad cul-de-sacs or mad things where you know, it's just, I'll give you an example in, in episode two of, of I'm Not a Monster. Um, Laurie, Sam's sister, is put in touch with a supposed people smuggler. Now, ultimately, that conversation doesn't go anywhere. So in the film, it doesn't really help us. It doesn't further our journey. It's just a waste of those minutes. Whereas in the podcast series, it's like, this is like half an episode of madness yeah. and the FBI are involved and it's horrible and then it's funny and it's absurd and it's three people and and it just becomes this whole thing. So it's such a liberating medium. I tell you what as well, I also think back over my career and I think, God, if I had just been doing audio, the people I would have got to speak to me <laughs> and the places I would have got into. Yeah. I, it's just, so it's a, it's a different beast altogether. It's wonderful. Yeah. I totally understand that. And I was thinking, I was, one of my next questions was going to be, do you find the podcast medium more more liberating? And you've just said it, it was. 100%. Because, yeah, I mean, w- watching watching the film, and it's a beautiful film, uh, Return to ISIS. And that's the thing with film. You're under so much pressure to make everything beautiful all the time that I think, I guess, is that what it is? Is that, the, apart from the length as well, as you were saying, is that one of the reasons you can't really have, and then we went to do this and it didn't happen. And then with a podcast, it's a lot of fun. It really felt like we were part of the investigation with you. It was a documentary. We were watching a shiny, beautiful thing in a different way. Totally agree with you. I mean, it, it, it's sort of, I said like some of the stuff that's most fascinating about the podcast is like just the how. So, you know, in the film, yeah. it's like, Okay, uh, and here I am. I finally negotiated access to Sam. In the podcast, it's like I spent ten days walking around Syria, like sneaking onto military bases, being chased by a monkey, not sleeping, um, surviving off this weird energy drink called Tiger that nobody knows what's in it, and just. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I, I probably shouldn't bring this up, but fuck it. There's it, like there's a great bit where like. Um, I haven't slept for like probably seven days properly at this point because even in the hotel we're staying in, like I'm getting up in the middle of the night to do security checks. I'm like constantly trying to work out the next way to find Sam. So I'm absolutely knackered and I look terrible. And my uh, real dear friend who was my teammate on that first hit in Syria is a guy called Magris. And there was a point where we pulled the van over at the side of the road uh, because I need to pee. And he just turns on the camera and films this big wide 
and he hasn't realized that I'm also wearing my radio mic of me standing there having a pee with a cigarette which I don't even smoke so suddenly I've started smoking a coffee in one hand and cigarette and just urinating and I go oh my god this is better than sex and the whole thing's recorded <laughs> and he sent it to my podcast producer being like we should totally put this in I was just like you bastard those are the things you cannot ever was that in I don't remember know. that bit no it wasn't it definitely was oh. not in it's definitely <laughs> never going in uh, yeah yeah. But it was, it's it's like, so the reason I bring that up is because obviously that's an extreme version, but you can kind of get into the reality of what it's like to actually try and do things in these places because so much yeah. in film, everything is polished and you just see the final refined thing. Sometimes it's a yeah. little less, but we can, there's an honesty to podcasts, which I think is really beautiful. I mean, that's an extreme example that I'm never going to put in a series, but that ilk of like, it is really tiring or it's really dangerous mm. or you're having this mad conversation. We're like, how am I in this situation? And that's all great color for a podcast series. Mm.